Today's story is about copycats in our industry. Unfortunately, very common problem. So many contractors are stealing each other's name. If you've been affected by it, comment below, share your story. On this channel, we have decided to expose copycats. Also, to call out those companies that decided to buy fake reviews because the problem is real. Now, I have a story for you that just happened a couple of weeks ago. We traveled to a company called Trust Roofing. Amazing company name, trustroofing.com is their website. As I'm touring their company, as we're talking about their business name and how awesome and genuine it is, trustroofing.com, I asked them, was it available? They said, yes, it was available. There was not Trust Roofings. Five months ago though, they decided to rebrand and they picked the name Trust Roofing. Today, there is another company that's trying to piggyback right of their brand. The company is located in Miami. What that company did, they created similar website, trustroofingfl.com. I'm actually gonna call them and find out why they did what they did. Because not only they took their name, they also took their reviews and posted on their website. So the worst case of being a copycat, I guess, it's very annoying, it's not fair, nobody should be doing it. If you cannot come up with an authentic name for your business, you should not be in business. Business is not something we create and steal. If you wanna start your name with a theft and taking someone's name and someone's reviews, someone's videos, it's intellectual theft. I take it pretty serious as a creator. It's very annoying when you create a piece of content and someone takes it from you. When you brainstorm business name and someone takes it from you. When you work hard for your clients and they review you and it takes time to build reviews online and then someone just goes and buys 500, 600 positive reviews. How is it fair? It's cheating and we're gonna call out this cheating. Hey brother. Hey, Dimitri. Listen, uh, I decided to run the story about uh, copycats. It's not just about your company, but uh, you're one of the companies who told me that they have someone who was using your reviews essentially. And I want to, you know, mention it. Trust Roofing in Miami, trustroofingfl.com. Did you tell me that they used your reviews on their website? 100%. Every single one of their reviews, bro, is our review. So to this day, like before installing TPO roof, make sure to clean your roof with bleach That's, to remove. Yeah, yeah, they took them from Angie's list. Those are all of my Home Advisor reviews. Every single one, they just copy pasted them from Home Advisor. They didn't copy paste them from uh, from Google. Um, yeah, and, and their homepage. I'm on their homepage right now. When you go down residential yep. roofing, I'm looking at TPO, then I'm looking at the blue metal roof behind it. I see That's it. Michael Chans. He's the owner of the Durable Slate Company. I'm sure you've heard of them. He's a personal friend of mine. He's one of the owners. I did his roof. That's his building. You scroll down. Commercial roofing. You see the you know, gray shingle. Like, that's my roof. Like, I don't know why these guys decided to just do it so blatantly. Not all of them are, but those two are. And then you go to testimonials. I'm hoping they'll just, like, change them. So, nope. Mark S. Seminole. Michael B. These are all mine. The only thing they changed is sometimes they change the city. So, like, they changed that to Plantation, Florida, even though he's done eat in Florida. They changed Tony C. to Miami, Florida. Like, Tony C. is an Asian gentleman who lives in Newport Ritchie near me. Like, you know, it's just like, okay. But these are all my reviews. Yeah, what about pictures? Did they steal any pictures? That's what I was saying. Yep. When you're on their homepage, when you're on home, and you scroll down to our services residential roofing with that blue metal roof in the background and the tpo going down with screws and plates that's my tpo install yeah and they used to dimitri they used to have a picture of one of my guys with a tng roofing shirt on and we called them on the phone we're like why are there people with tng roofing shirts on and they're like oh that's one of our crews or that's a type and they like and then once we mentioned that then they removed that picture so and it's funny because even in reviews you see tng roofing in reviews and you see robin they say robin was great like what the, i don't know it's just so funny well i don't want you to fight it i don't think it's your fight i think i can take on it because i'm gonna call them i'm gonna ask them for clarification 
And there's gonna be video on YouTube that, you know, they're copycats and they should change it. I mean, nobody should be doing it. I know how annoying it is. But I mean, uh, hey, I'll be fully transparent too. Like, when I decided to pick the name Trust Roofing, I looked it up and there is a company in Kansas with Trust Roofing. There is a company in North Carolina that's Trust Roofing. However, I felt like since I'm in Florida, I'm far enough away, A, and then B, neither of them decided they wanted to invest in their business enough to actually purchase the domain trustroofing.com. So it's kind of like, okay, I feel like, uh, that's okay, you know? Sure. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, they're not in your market and you're not taking their reviews and their pictures. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, sorry going through this and I'm going to see if I can get an answer from them. Yeah, no, call him. It's a Indian guy who picks up the phone. They don't have a license listed. I don't think they're licensed uh, that I can see. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those. It's kind of interesting. Well, wow. all right. Thank you, brother. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Dmitry. Is this Trust Roofing? Yes. I'm calling to get an estimate, uh, but uh, I'm on your website and I don't see your license information. Are you licensed? Yes, we are. Can I look up your license? <laughs> yes, I'll send it to your number. Okay. He hang up. <laughs> I'll send it to your number and he hangs up. What's going on? Can you get your license? I'll text it to you. I'll send it to your number. Hangs up a second later. All right. Let's call this freaking guy back. Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. You said you're going to text me the license number and I'm not getting anything. Oh, it's because I'm not in the office. As soon as I'll step into the office, I'll forward you. All right. All right. Thank you so much. I'll call no you back. Problem. Okay. Bye -bye. So he said he's not in the office, but earlier when uh, other person called, so Trust Roofing, their office called them and they asked for license information, they said, give us the address, we're gonna mail it to you. So I don't know if this will happen or not. But the story is very clear. I'm not gonna confront this person. I don't know who he is. I wish him nothing but the best. But this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable in this industry, in any industry. Like, I'm all for capitalism. I'm all for working hard and uh, going after opportunities. There's plenty of work out there. But it's not fair, it's very shady to take in someone else's reviews. It's very unethical to start taking names. And I'm for fair competition. Comment below, guys, what you think. If you have someone who is doing it to you, I wanna hear how bad it is. Because on this channel, we have decided to call out extreme cases. Government is not going to investigate it. It's not like police is going to come and say you cannot do it. There is no, you know, ethical police out there. We contractors have to watch our backs. I love praising good practices and people who are doing it right. But I also like calling out shady people like this one because it's not fair to good companies. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try it again. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Yes, uh, this is Dimitri calling you back. I uh, spoke with you uh, about five days ago, and you promised me to send me your license. Yes, I'll send it to your number. As soon as I'll step into the office, I'll forward you. I never got anything back, and now it's keep going to your voicemail. Give me a call back, please. 612-558. This one is pretty sad. <laughs> Obviously, trust roofing is not that trust trusty. Wouldn't trust trust roofing uh, Florida at all. Be careful who you're doing business with. This company is as shady as they come. I don't know who's behind it. I would like to know most likely they are not licensed most likely uh, there I mean if you're doing business this way it speaks volume about your operation 
hoping that they're gonna give me a call back, give me their number, uh, <clears throat> license number, but also hoping they have explanation why they're stealing company from the competition, from the company they stole their name from. Comment below what you guys think about the story. I'll see you in the next video.